Now, the point of all these videos, that, or at least the last video in this video, is I, I'm not trying to get you to to avoid using pound includes, okay? You, you have to to get your job done. But I do want you to th at least think about it when you pound include something and realize what that really means. And the more pound include you do, the heavier lifting your compiler and preprocessor has to do. So what are some ways around this? Well, I already showed you the one. I can do this, where I just do my own declarations, and then I don't need the C math here, and it builds fine. The test still pass after it's done building. Um, here we go. So tests are still good. But there's a problem with that, and the problem with it is I'm not letting C math, it's, it's portability, essentially. I'm not letting C math do its job, because it is actually doing some important work here if we actually you know what I'm just gonna go back here and control alt L go to the inline click on cosine hit of 12 and here you go here's cosine and there's some preprocessor instructions here and one here and I mean I can probably guess what this is this is if I hit of 12 on that it's C decal and then if I click on this and hit of 12 then that's going to replace in with whoo all this stuff which is more preprocessor instructions and so on and so forth. So there's a reason why we have all this. It's for portability, and I don't want to lose that. So what are some uh, fixes I can do? Because, yeah, I like what this gives me. I get smaller compilation units, but I need the portability. So there's a couple of workarounds. Um, one hopefully maybe obvious one is don't put rotate in a header file. Okay, remember rotates in this inline file, which is included here, and we we just wanted to inline it. We're going to call it a lot. So don't put rotate in the header file, but now we're no longer inlined. If we put it in a compilation unit, the compiler can no longer inline it. So that's that's not a cost I'd like to eat if I can avoid it. And I hope you remember what inline means. It means we're not going to eat the cost of setting up a stack frame every time we call rotate. So another option is pre-compiled headers. And if we go to Control L and I right click, oh, you could view this in any project. It really kind of depends on where you want the pre-compiled headers. But you can go, you can say pre-compiled headers, you can set up pre-compiled headers. I'm not going to get into depth right here, but essentially it pre-compiles all your header information so that when the compiler uh, builds something, then yeah, we, we eat the cost of building all that information from the header the initial time, but then once we have that compiled header file, that pre-compiled header, then we no longer have to have the compiler do all that work every time we build. We're not to a point quite yet that I think it's necessary to set this up and show you. Generally, you set this up at the beginning of the project and go forward, but I'm actually going to delay that. I just want to get the, first of all, get the ideas and concepts in your head, help you understand what it really means to do a pound include and the costs involved with that, not necessarily just with your one file, but with the other several files, headers, or compilation units that it can affect. And then uh, one nice way to po fix that is using pre-compiled headers when you're using the C the Microsoft C++ compiler. I'm not going to do that yet. We'll, we'll get there eventually, but I think for now, let's, let's try to stay on track here and, and uh, get our tests going. Our tests are good. I want to use our rotate code in our game to get our ship rotating. But there's also, well, okay, let's get the ship rotating, and then I'm going to do one other kind of cleanup video with you, with you and help you understand something about warnings.